everywhere hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i am still in guatemala i'm actually visiting a new little town with my friend's mom from my last vlog but my friend today has work so i'm only gonna see her later today so we got up at 6 a.m we made our way to tecpan from guatemala city and yes here we are we're about to eat breakfast so come along with me and let's visit this beautiful town of tecpan my friend's mom she was saying that Tecpan was basically the first city of Guatemala. Most Guatemalan, like the Guatemalan people, um, built Tecpan first, and then they moved to Antigua, which was the where I did my vlog the other time. And when they moved to Antigua, that's when like the colonizers came in Spain and etc. And this town is like from 1524. That's how old this town is. Yeah, it's beautiful though. Let me show you this. Place where we're having breakfast so guys this is where we're having breakfast we passed by the main city si. Gracias. so tecpan has like farms like this where it's the most touristy places like if you search up tecpan my friend's mom was just telling me that in this farm they have the the cows right here and that's how they make everything from their cheese to their pastries they use the, the local milk from their local cows and etc so yeah Super excited. Negras. Guys, they have black corn in Guatemala, but today they only have the yellow. But they have black corn. Like that's very interesting. So guys, breakfast has arrived. These are the famous black corn tortillas. This is so cool. Like what? Yes, and there's this also here. And yes. I'll let you guys know if the food is good, but I know it is like what? I have yet to have a bad meal in Guatemala. Like the food is just, everything is good. <laughs> really good. Guys, so this is how they make the tortillas. They are made with black corn. And right now she's molding them. And yes. Guys, look at how pretty this farm is. And look at the most beautiful horse in the world. Like, I don't think I've seen a horse this pretty in a while. Look at her or him go. Oh, wow. Here are the horses. Oh my gosh, hi. Hi, fella. I wish they had their names right there so we could find out. Oh, yes, they do. This is Perla del Sol. This is... Resplandor. You are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Guys, is this a pony? Oh my god, I think this is a pony. He doesn't have a name though. Oh wow, guys. It's a whole like little farm. Oh, look at the cows. Guys, so I just found out those are ponies. And look, they also have sheep. Wow, look at this beautiful view. Such a pretty little farm. Guys, I made a new friend. Her name is Primavera. She was so nice. She's only four years old, but she went back to her home. That was such a good moment that we had. She's so sweet. There goes a friend. There they go. The cowies. 
I want one of them to, yeah, you see the tag in her ear? Guys, so the baby ones stay in here. And the big ones are out there. So they sell the milk as well as um, they use it at their restaurant. And they don't make it make they don't milk the cows by hand. They use machines to milk the cows twice a day because it's such you know high demand. That's how it works. Learning a lot today. Guys, saying goodbye to this beautiful little farm. We had a great little morning here. I will give you guys the rundown of the history in just one second. Once I get it, we're buying tickets right now to go in. I think we're gonna see how they used to live way, 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 way back in the day before colonial times, before everything. And yeah. So this is like all about the tribe, all about the beginning of times. Whoa, what language is this? Kachikel. Wow, so it's a, it's one of your native tongues? Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. Well, I think on this side it's in Spanish. So I can read this. I can't read that. <laughs> but yes, guys, so. Esta aquí es eh, Juan Pelota. Oh, wow. Y la pelota era de, de concreto, de piedra. Really? De piedra. Wow. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a rugby, rugby kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. Si, si. So this was like the square where they would gather, you know, hang out, probably have like the market and everything. And this is where they played soccer. I mean, not soccer. I think it's it was more so like American football. The ball, she was just saying it was made out of rock. So I don't think they would play it with their feet. I think they threw it which it's so cool because wow can you imagine i wish they had like pictures here so we could see but like this is the ruins of the first tribes of guatemala it's truly beautiful like look at that so guys this is the square where they would have like um, they would sacrifice an animal to give to their elders basically with that they would like receive an eternal blessing They would you know be protected forever and stuff like that So here is where they gathered to make that sacrifice and to thank their ancestors for everything and yeah Wow guys, so we were just talking about how these trees are basically 400 500 years old and their dad my friend's grandpa they're he's actually from here so when they were little they would come here and they would like hang out and they would spend sundays here in the city so it was still like considered a city city about 40 years ago people would still live here and yeah do their daily lives here and it's so cool now it's more so like a reserve but it's beautiful yes they also have guides so if you guys wanted like a tour and you want to know like about the history and everything it's a must it's a must it's a must guys so the original name of guatemala was guapuntemala and that's like the first word that they had with the spain with the spanish but like like the history of like them before they were even colonized and anything it was really just them like like that's how old this place is like this place is over 7, 700 years old. Like, wow. So guys, the day was amazing. We just got back to Guatemala City from Tecpan. Um, we went to visit um, my friend's grandparents. They were so kind, so loving so welcoming they were telling me like about the aztec time so basically uh the village that we just went to visit that was really old like from the 12,000s they were mayans and they were aztecs like from way 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 back and there's so much history that is coming to the surface right now and yeah he was just telling me all about it and i was like wow it's amazing <laughs> Grape sorbet. 
hope it's good. Right. Never had any, so. <laughs> So guys, um, we're ending the night in Guatemala City. We're about to go out to dinner to wrap up this amazing trip. Yes, and I'm gonna try another traditional dish. It's called pollo and crema. So it's chicken and cream. So. Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> this is so good. Guys. I know, it's my favorite. It's so good. Wow guys, so we've arrived and the rainy season has officially begun. Woohoo! That's good! Yes, it's a blessing. It On my last day it's raining. Guys, look at it pouring. They're so happy because it's raining and it's such a blessing because they were in drought for a whole month. The restaurant's name is Hacienda Real and they give you this little soup as a little starter. And yeah, cheers! cheers. Uh -huh. Guys, so I got another traditional tea. I mean, yeah, traditional come drink. Come it's yeah, hibiscus yeah. tea yeah. on ice, yeah. and yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. They got horchata, and it's so good. Well, guys, this is a wrap on Tecpan and Guatemala City, and now we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna go to sleep, and I have to get get up at 4 a.m. because that's when my is but anyways i love you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next adventure bye